Oh, no. No. <laughs> Transformers 1 is flopping hard on the box office. And that was a motorcycle. Gee, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Okay. We kind of suspected this was going to happen. I, I definitely blame the marketing. The marketing has been utter trash. And I understand that they didn't want to show too much of a lot of stuff, especially the more dramatic parts of the film, which was fantastic, by the way. But the majority of the normies just saw it. Oh, it's just a kid's movie. Well, I'm not a kid. I'm not going to watch it. I'll just watch it in digital. Because whenever I recommend this film towards uh, fellow co-workers at work, they were just shocked to hear that there's actually a lot more to it than what they saw in the advertisements. And then you got some who are utterly lazy and going, oh, I just want to watch it in my home. Which, in my personal opinion, Opinion. I, I love the theater experience. I love going to the cinema, getting some popcorn, getting my raspberry Fanta and have a good time and get to see other people enjoy the movie like I do or suffer if it's not good. But we definitely live at a time where we've experienced so much garbage to the point that we have to, we're pretty much picking and choosing what kind of film we want to see if it's worth the theater experience. And I am guilty for this as well because sometimes I'm a bit scared skeptical going, oh, is is this even going to be good? Is this going to warrant my 29 Australian dollar ticket price? But now because I'm a YouTuber, uh, there might be some films I obligated to go because I gotta review it. You're going to a theater to watch pretty much a, a big e event type of film, just like Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool Wolverine was an event type of movie and also Godzilla and Kong. They're big blockbusters. You get a good feeling that you're gonna get something out of it, mostly a fun time. And majority of the time animated films also make a lot of bank i mean look what happened to inside out 2 it's the highest grossing film of this year so why did transformers 1 didn't do so well in the box office and that another robot type film called the wild robot is beating it <laughs> in the box office not saying it's a bad film but i heard it's really good and i'm planning to see it tomorrow when i'm not freaking tired from work so i'm looking up the box office for Transformers 1 right now and it seems it's got it's got a bit more money unless please correct me if I and there's another car there's another car what's with all these cars tonight yeah so correct me if I'm wrong but Worldwide, it has made about over $71 million, and the budget is between 79 and 100 something million, 130, I think. I'm not entirely sure about the budget. It could be possible that the budget is a lot more expensive than it should be, maybe because they spent quite a bit on the star studded cast. But even though it won't make as much money from the box office, is it possible that the toy sale might help the film? Because that's what happened in Rise of the Beast, right? Rise of the Beast did not do well in theaters, but the toy sales were pretty booming, I'm pretty sure. Heck, even I bought those Studio Series toys. They're really good, except for frickin' Mirage. He was never frickin' advertised in JB Hi-Fi. I think I just missed the opportunity. Now he's being resold for double the price on frickin' eBay. He's the one Autobot I'm missing. I got pretty much almost everyone. I don't think, yeah, I don't have Noah, but Mirage is what I want, and he's not there. Screw you, scalpers. But yeah, it seems the toy sales are our only hope. But the studio series for some of the characters are not even coming out till late next year? I mean, are you kidding me? Why is it taking that long? I feel like you could have prepared this ahead of time. But we are getting the YOLO Park model kits coming up and they look gorgeous. I haven't owned one yet. I'm trying to get the Rise of the Beast Optimus one. But again, I'm just managing what I want to spend at the moment. So there has been a lot of temptations recently. And this YOLO Park Transformers 1 figures, they look really good. I, 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 need, I need one. Please, I need one. Give it to me. But yeah, I think we can also blame Hasbro for just not having this film pushed out to everyone or just market the movie the way that should have, which I guess they did in the second trailer, but a lot of people made up their own minds. I feel like once they start going ahead with the Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover, they're going to market the shit out of it, mainly because they're going to get famous actors to play the G.I. Joes, put them front and center to take away the screen time from the Transformers as it usually does. I'd be super surprised that that's going to make money. But 
Even so, they have no clue what to do because it's an early development and yet they announced that they're making it. I don't understand studios announcing shit that is really on a very early concept based standards when I feel like you should announce your product when it's, I don't know, almost done or when you have a director, writer and crew and everything and actors. Because yeah, the Transformers and G.I. Joe movie doesn't have any of that. So we probably won't get it till, I don't know, 2028 or some crap like that. But who cares? We want sequel to Transformers 1. But again, money talks and if Paramount and Hasbro see no money into the Transformers 1, you know, the animation side of things, then there's no point of them pursuing sequels for that series. But I guess only time will tell if Transformers 1 will make more money in the coming weeks. I hope it does. I mean, us fans, we, we're watching th these films over and over. Uh, actually, I'm very curious how many times you've seen this film. I want to watch it a second time, but I just need to find the time to do it. Because we're finally getting something good here with Transformers. And, and it's a pity that people just judged it from the first trailer and just went, well, I'm not a kid, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the mentality of most people would go, well, it's for kids so I'm not gonna watch it. Yes, watching Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah, th yeah, that's not made for kids, even though it definitely felt like it was. Yes, watching Transformers The Last Night. Yeah, yeah, that's not made for kids because it's definitely for us edgy grown-ups. Yes, watching Acolyte. Yeah, that's not made for kids, even though the writing is utterly garbage. It's funny that a lot of animated films of recent can tell a better story than most live-action stuff. But hey, those are the opinions from a Gumby.